Hi, on this channel, we've covered a lot of content when it comes to setting up your devices with Microsoft Intune for first enrollment. We've probably not covered so much in terms of your everyday management and support of those devices. One of the features available is the locate your device, which is available for Windows, iOS devices, and now Android in the February 2023 release. So in this video, we're gonna look at how you set that up and see it working. So if you followed any of my videos before, you're probably aware that I like to use a Microsoft um, documentation just to show you the latest information. Now this is the web page, and basically this is the page for locate loss of stolen devices with Intune. Now this will cover all your devices, as I mentioned, is Windows, iOS, and Android, but we're only gonna concentrate in setting this up for Android today. Now, you do have the ability to identify the location um, of a lost stolen device on a map, and we'll show that working, but you've also got added benefits. So you use a lost um, device sound alert on a phone, right, to help you locate the device. It might be down the back of a seat, for example. Um, and you've also the ability to report on the time and location of devices last known location. And as it says here, that's for the Android Enterprise dedicated devices only. So we'll go through some of that information. When it comes to supported platforms, this will require um, the run Google Play services version 2006.16 or later. So take note of that. And when it comes to unsupported uh, platforms, you also take note that it can't run on Android Device Administrator and Enterprise for Personally Owned Work Profile. Okay, so when you deploy this to your devices, it will come up with, uh, it will go through and locating the devices, assuming that it can locate that device and it will come up with the map. So this locate device feature applies on Android devices, be it a dedicated enrollment, be it a fully managed or a corporate owned device with work profile. Now, depending on which route you take, there is a slightly different um, option to take. And we'll show that within the actual profile itself. But to highlight it here, by default, this is not configured within the fully managed and corporate owned with work profile. And you will have to switch it on to enable it. But for dedicated devices, it's also set to not configured as default, which allows the feature. So that's the important point I want to raise here. When it comes to your dedicated devices, there's a few additional features we can cover here. As I mentioned before, you've got the, when you use the locate device action for a dedicated device when it's offline, and it's no, not able to respond with its current location, Intune attempts to display the last known location. Now devices typically check in every eight hours to Intune, so it may be that you get the last, um, you know, the last time it checked in eight hours ago. And it will keep this information up to seven days. When you actually do that on uh, an, a fully managed or corporate owned with, with work profile device, and it locate, actually locates the device, it will keep that information up to 24 hours for privacy rules. And it's important to note that the data that is collected is encrypted two ways when it collects that information. So let's go and set this up and see it working. So I've come over to my Microsoft um, Intune tenant and take note it's now called the Microsoft Intune Admin Center. I'm gonna go into devices, um, configuration profiles, and then we're gonna create a new profile here. We need to select the platform, so that's Android Enterprise, and then the profile type. Now, take note, you've got the uh, fully managed, dedicated, corporate owned there, and you've also got your personal owned work profile. If I click that, I won't get that option because it's not available. So I'm gonna pick the device restrictions here, click create, give it a name. Oops. Oh, if I could do that quickly. Um, now, this option is available within general. And if I go down the page, I should see the locate option. And there we have locate device. Now take note that that is under the dedicated devices section. 
and in that scenario I can only block it because it's already enabled okay by default as we mentioned if I look at the corporate owned um, section where is that that's above here yes sorry the fully managed and corporate owned work profile option you've got locate device and it's allow it's not block okay so we're going to switch that on I'm going to hit the next button that's the only setting we want to configure here and I'm going to add all devices but rather than select a specific group I'm going to add a filter so I'm going to edit a filter include filtered devices in assignment um, and I'm going to use this filter that I've already got Android phone filter okay specifically where the device manufacturer is Samsung I'm using this a lot more now it's a lot quicker to deploy to your devices rather than use dynamic groups so I would advise to kind of use that yourself okay we're going to select that we're going to hit next we're going to see that and then we're going to hit the create button so at this point we've got our policies it shows there locate, locate devices and it's on Android and we've got device restrictions that will deploy down to your available devices in my case it's Samsung devices if I look at Android devices here I can see I've got one which is enrolled don't worry about it. it's not compliant at the moment it's a corporate owned device so that's the device that's going to receive my policy so the policy will be um, pushed down to the device when it checks in I can do a sync on the device itself if I need to and then basically I'm going to come back when that's been deployed so the policy has now deployed I can look at that and view that if I go on to the device itself and then go into the device configuration option it shows that that policy locate device devices has been successfully deployed to that device I can also look at the options available I've got the regular kind of management options here but I've got locate device uh, and play lost device sound which this feature kind of enables the other option I've got is if I go back into the actual configuration device restriction itself I can look at the status of that so we've got locate devices and if I run a report it's already showing there but if I run a report you can do that it will show that it has been deployed okay so I've got one successful deployment of that policy so at this point what I need to do is connect my device and we'll see this working so I've connected my Samsung device here hopefully you can see that and we're going to go through actually showing this working so if I go back to devices Android devices um, there we go we'll see this actual device we go back to the options for management and support that we have here and we've got the uh, option for play lost device sound so we're going to do that now it's saying that if you play a lost device sound the sound will play for set duration now we can set that duration let's just give it one for now and let's hit that uh, hit the yes okay so that, hopefully you can hear that and it's saying this is devices playing so that played for one minute as it suggested and if I had that down the back of my sofa hopefully I would have found that now the other option we have available to us is locate the device okay so let's go ahead and test that just move this over slightly so you can see and then we'll go to locate locate device now it tells us that um, it's uh, intended to be used to locate loss or stolen devices um, the action will be triggered but the important thing to make sure here is to before you continue make sure you're following local laws and regulations around saving location data now I did mention before location data is visible in Intune for 24 hours once received and also you can't delete though that data it stays on the system for 24 hours to so keep note of that and follow your own you know local uh, privacy laws in my scenarios I've reviewed and I've consent to location data so I'm going to hit the yes we should come up with a location of the map it's showing that the device is initiated and also it's come up on the device to inform me that 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 service is collecting that data and automatically it's now found the location uh, the coordinates and there's the time that it's actually collected that data and reported it back to Intune 
So that's that service working and in scenarios where you're supporting devices in a lost and stolen scenario, that's how you will locate your device. So thanks for watching. That's just one example and one feature of managing your Android devices with Microsoft Intune on a day-to-day -day basis rather than the actual first enrollment. We will cover similar things for Windows and for iOS devices. I've got a specific series on iOS and macOS, so please check that out. And also, if you like this, please go ahead and subscribe. We're always welcoming new uh, subscribers and we've got some great content on the channel. Thanks for now.